Thanks for joining us, America. Trevor is with us in Utah. Happy New Year, Trevor. Happy New Year to you as well. How are you? Better than I deserve. How can I help, sir? Thank you. My wife and I just recently started Financial Peace University and hit Baby Step 1 last month, and we're currently working on Baby Step 2. Great. Our question's about uh, basically credit card debt and what we should do. Um, $19,000 in credit card debt, 10000 in medical, and 32 in our cars, unfortunately. And with minimum payments, we're just kind of falling behind, so we had to protect our four walls and start on that and stop making minimum payments. And with that, um, through my car payment, uh, which is on time and up to date, my credit card is with the same bank, and so they're saying that it's uh, collateral against my car and they can repossess it. So they're kind of working on that, too. And so I, I'm just kind of trying to figure out options on where to go from here. What's your household income? Uh, we take it home about 5000 a month. You need to sell some cars, don't you? Yeah, we do. But unfortunately, we're upside down in them because my wife and I both rolled over previous cars into these new cars. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so which one's the most expensive? They're both about 16000 okay. right now that we own them. Now, the one I'd take on first is this bank that's misbehaving, and I'm going to get those people out of my life. You don't have any checking with them, do you? No, we don't. Good. Who's the bank? It's America First. It's a local credit union here in Utah. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I, I would get everything out of them as fast as I can since they're being butts. Um, the other thing I do is sit down with them in person and go, um, you know what? You've got this credit card debt that's unsecured. You've got a portion of this car that's unsecured. Why don't we put that on an unsecured personal loan? Let me sell the car and let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of some of the debt. Sit down with okay. them in person in the manager's office. Okay. Not by email and not over the phone. Because they okay. have an unsecured loan. What's this $16,000 car probably worth? Right. What's it worth? Um, it's, I, I haven't looked at it. It's probably around 12000 maybe at that. Okay. All right. So they've got a $4,000 unsecured loan and a $12,000 car loan plus a credit card debt. How much is a credit card debt? It's about 2500 Okay. So they need to make you a $6,500 personal loan and let you sell the car. Okay. And that'll get rid of one car and it'll get it off of credit cards. Right. And you'll just have right. a little personal unsecured loan with them, which is what they've got now. They don't have security now. The only security they've got now is $12,000 car, right? Right. And they got 6500 approximately in unsecured debt right now. All we're doing is admitting that. So if they balk right. it all, just try to remind them of that and rub their nose in it and go, this unsecured loan anyway, Bubba. Uh-huh. And... Let's start clearing that off because you can't, the problem is these car payments are killing you guys and you can't even make your payments. Right. So you've got to get offload some of the debt just to get in balance again so you can begin to make progress instead of systematically going behind every month. Right. You're making the right choice to do the four walls first, but that's a temporary thing. That's not a long-term strategy. That's I'm going to survive this month and do the right things like eat and keep my lights on before I worry about a stupid credit card. But, uh, um, you know, th then immediately you go, I'm going to sit down at this bank. I'm going to get this car sold. Who's the other car loan with? It's through another credit union here in, in Utah University. Federal credit union. Probably do the same thing with them then. And let's get yeah. us a couple of one get us a couple of one thousand dollar cars and drive them till we get this mess straightened out. Um, and then the other thing is, you stop anything coming out of your check. You know, stop your four hundred one ks, stop anything like that. Let's try to get as much money home as possible to pay these bills, and of course, start looking for extra work. Anything you can do, um, you know, delivering pizzas, driving Uber, whatever, and uh, you know that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you get another thousand dollars a month coming in, and you adjust some of these other things. You can clear this debt pretty quickly, but we've got to get back on top of it here, and it's going to require some steps in those directions. But I'd say both those cars need to go because I'm guessing they're probably high interest rates too. It sounds like it sounds like they're bad deals all the way around. Uh, you got stung. You had car fever. So hope that helps, man. Thanks for calling in. If you can, if I can help you more, you let me know. I think you can do this, but you're going to, have to make some pretty dramatic steps because you're in a pretty dramatic situation.